the beginning of the work week on Monday. Um, <laughs> this having one day off is not my favorite thing. But, you know, I got a job and I can pay my bills and that makes me happy. So anyway, let's get right into this. This is my first impressions of my week. Um, I am wearing the Too Faced Brow Quickie in Universal Taupe. And for my brows and um, it's pretty light it is made for very dark very light brows but it you know it looks fine you know I'm not gonna I'd rather have it this way than way too dark so I do like it you have to work at it though um, it isn't as easy as I thought it was gonna be for you know a high-end brow um, deal you know it's not it you have to work at it to get it to look like this so okay and then I used my Ulta eye primer using that up then I used my uh, lash blast last lash blast volume um, this is cover girl mascara and I really like it um, it does I like the what it does to my lashes this is what it looks like. It's just got a really thick um, spoolie on it. But I really like it. it. It does awesome things for my lashes. Then I'm using the Physician's Formula Blush in... <sighs> what did I do with my... Sorry, itch. It's Nude Wear Glowing Nude Blush in Natural. Okay. And this is what it looks like. And I just swirl them all together. And then for my um, highlighter, I use the Physician's Formula also. I thought while I'm doing this, I would just use it. And this is Shimmer Strips All-in-One Custom Nude Palette for Face and Eyes. And it's 2R, it says. So I think that it just says um, Natural Nude on it. And this is what it looks like. This is broke. Never mind that. should go down like that. And wow, do you need a light hand with this stuff because you can really see this. It's so pretty though. Okay. And then for my lips today, I used the CoverGirl O Sugar in Punch. And this is what it looks like. Um, it's very slippery on your lips. I, I like the color. It's very pretty color. But you get, it all bunches up at the, at the edges of your lips because it is so slippery and such a thin consistency so you have to be careful of that but the color payoff and it doesn't last but it's pretty you know that's okay for my first day <laughs> okay and for my eyes um, for the first three days I am going to use this elf palette and it is god everything is too little for me today this is in nude this is their nude eye palette and this is what it looks like I am going to choose three shades out of that for the week. I used this for my um, base, and which I will pro I will use the whole three days along with this because it doesn't have the other um, matte shade is too dark for my transition. So I will use this, and then today I used this color, this very light color on my lids, and it is light. <laughs> But there, I don't have a whole lot of choice, you know what I mean? And I also, I just wanted to show you too, I'm also using, I used my two eye br brushes, my crease brush and my large eyeshadow brush that I got in my friend mail. So I'm going to use those all week long too. So here is my eye look. It's very light today, very, um, just very light. So my, I don't know. Um, 
this look doesn't suit me very well I don't think the the light the lighter colors on my lid I don't I should have had a darker transition I think if I'm gonna do this I should have had a darker transition and I didn't so anyway it's okay you know it's Monday it live and learn so I will know from now on if I use a very light lid shade to use a darker transition or do like a third or half and a half on my eyes so anyway I will see you tomorrow and enjoy your day bye Morning. it is Tuesday and day two of my making it work series and let's just get started uh, for my eyes today I am using the elf palette in nude the nude palette and today I use this and this, which I'll probably use tomorrow as well, for my uh, base and my transition. And today I used this color here for my eyelids. And I realized something last night. The other one that I'm going to work use Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is very similar. So I guess I will compare the two. All right. And for my lips today, I use the uh, Katy Perry by CoverGirl. I'm doing the CoverGirl this week. Is Couture. And this is what it looks like. Katy Cat Matte. That color. Beautiful. I really like these um, Katy Perry lipsticks by CoverGirl. You know, um... I never liked CoverGirl very much. And then they started stepping up their game with their lipsticks. And those three palettes they came out with are awesome. I love those three palettes. The Nudes, the Roses, and the Goldens palettes. I love them. But I'm still not a fan of anything else by CoverGirl much. So, um, but I do like these. See you tomorrow. Bye everybody and welcome to day three of my Making It Work series. Let's get right into this. I wanted to chat just a little bit. Um, today I used my e.l.f. palette. Today is the last day I'm going to use this palette this week, so I'll let you know about it a little bit. Um, it takes, it, it's a good, good enough palette for, for e.l.f., you know. It just takes a little work to get what you want. It's not, not bad though. But um, today I used this and this for my transition and my base, this one and this one. And then I used this one on my lid with, I just dusted a little bit of this on top of it. Just because this has got the gold glitter, if you can see that, this one. <coughs> Excuse me. And the glitter ended up on my cheek. It doesn't hold the glitter whatsoever. It's just a plain old brown. So anyway, I just, just dusted a little bit of the gold on top. Not much. Just to give it a little bit of that goldish brown look is all. Um, all in all, this is an okay palette. It's not... It's far, far from high-end quality. But it's a good palette. And I will continue to use it because I do like it. It's just... Not one of my favorites. I don't know. Um, I was glad when they came out with these kind of palettes, though, because I do like the colors and stuff. So, anyway, um, my lipstick today is the um, Cover Girl O Sugar in O Nine or Nine Jelly Jelly, and this is what it looks like there. And that's what a very pretty berry color. Um, very pretty on the lips. The only thing I don't like about these is they're just so slippery. Like they're going to slide right off your lips. I mean, that's exactly what they feel like. But uh, I do like the color. It takes a bit of work to build it up because it's very sheer. And I think that's what it was meant to be. It was meant to be a sheer wash of color. So... Anyway, that is my day three. I just am hoping today is a better day than yesterday. It started off, uh, I went to Taco John's, if any of you have Taco John's where you live, um, 
to get a, a taco and some mixy rolls, they call them. They're like toast, toast, uh, um, I can't think of what they're called. I can't think of what they're called. They're like meat and, and cheese and stuff wrapped, and then they're fried. Very good. <clears throat> because um, I was there last week, and they goofed up my order, so I called them. And the, the young man was very nice that I spoke to. He said, um, just come on in. The next time you're in, we'll take care of you. I'll put your name down. You know, he said he was the supervisor. His manager was not there. Okay, so I went in last night to get, and I told them that, and they're going, huh? You know, like, like they didn't know what I was talking about. The girl at the window, she was very nice about it. And here comes this big, tall guy um, and says, we don't do that. We take down your name and we'll send you a coupon or something. And he was just snippy about it, you know what I mean? And I said, I, expl I tried to explain to him what this kid told me. He says, who was it? This guy or this guy? He gave me two names, which I'm not going to say. But he gave me two names and he said, um, which guy did it? And I said, I have no idea. I said, but let me tell you what he told me. And he says, you know, don't get mad at me. It's not my fault. I wasn't even mad at that point. But then I got mad. And I said a couple things I shouldn't have. And I drove off. Um, so then I called the manager. And she said she'll have a talk with him. Like, what good is that going to do? You know, um, they're probably laughing at me behind, you know, what I mean. <laughs> um. She said she was going to send me something out. We'll see what it is, and I'm going to go there and get it, and I probably won't won't uh, go there very often anymore, especially if I, you know, if I see he's working, I won't go there because he was a rude young man. He was, you know, standing over me like, I'm going to intimidate you. You know what I mean? You know, there, the window's about up here, and you're sitting down here in your car. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's the way it started out. And then I got home and got into a little bit of a, I'm not going to say it, uh, altercation because she, as soon as anything was said, so, she Anyway, t last night, it to make a story, long story short, it was just a, a bad night for me. I was in a bitchy mood after I got home from, from Taco John's and I probably took things easily wrong. And that's, you know, I do that sometimes. And, you know, but I'm not, a, I, I don't feel like I'm a bad person. I don't feel like I'm less than you. I don't feel like I'm more than you. For heaven's sakes. Um, I don't judge people by, you know, I'm up here and you're down here. I don't, I don't do that. Um. I judge you on the way you act and the way you treat me and the way you treat other people. So, think about that. Okay. <laughs> my rant and my vent is over. And, you know, you don't need to comment on this. It's just me getting it out there. So, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. Bye. Everybody and welcome to Thursday's edition of Making It Work. And I do want to clear a few things up. Yesterday I went into a bit of a rant. Um, I will be editing most of that out. It is about, now this is my opinion only, and thinks their channel is too good to be associated with mine. That's all I'm going to say about that subject. You know, um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that subject. And you know, I get an attitude when I feel, you know, I want friends just the same as anybody else. And I know I'm so much older than a lot of you on here. But, you know, friendship means a lot to me. And sometimes I feel that, you know, <sighs> let's get into the makeup. That's what this is for. I don't want to get into everything. And I just realized I forgot to put on my mascara, so I'll be doing that as I tell you about everything else. Um, today I'm using, the, for the rest of the week actually, I am going to be using the Wet n Wild, uh, I don't even know what the name of this is, Studio Eyeshadow Palette. 
That's all it says. Oh, wait. Coming in latte. This is almost an absolute dupe for the e.l.f. palette that I used the beginning of the week. So I, at the end of the week, I will be doing a comparison, and I will be telling you the differences between the two. Okay? So anyway, oh, I use this for my base. I use this for my transition. Same almost exact colors as I've been using all week. And then I use this one here for um, my... Uh, eyeshadow color and I had to to get this color to get it as dark as it is I had to go in um, three to four times on each eye to get it you know to look dark enough so anyway that is that and today I used my Katie Cat matte by CoverGirl in Sphinx that's what it looks like and this is the color. Beautiful nude. Just a pretty nude. I really like it. Okay, so that is my makeup of the day. I'm going to go ahead and put on my um, lashes. <laughs> and I will talk to you tomorrow. For anybody that I, um, has any problems with me voicing my opinion, um, this is not going to be a rant channel by a long shot. I want to keep things, you know, good and neutral and, you know, I'm by far the most cheerful person in the world, the most bubbly, you know, I am just not that person. I am more on the dark side, actually. Um, I suffer from depression, but I want this channel to be a channel where I can chat to you, plus do makeup plus do books, plus do other things. Um, if I feel, you know, it's my way of venting, it's my way of expressing myself, and I hope none of you have a problem with that. I know um, I had somebody unsubscribe yesterday because I used the word God damn in my video. I have a trashy mouth. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry if that offends any of you. It's just kind of a habit with me. I'm sorry. Anyway, everybody, talk to you. and happy Friday for those of you that are heading into your weekend. I still have to work tomorrow, and then I'm done for the week. Um, today is day five of my Waking at Work series. I'm having a terrible time with my hair. I put two, a clip on each side always because my hair... Um, likes to bush out and this top layer is only about like this long so it sticks out a little farther um and I only wash my hair every other day sometimes every day but you know it depends on if I need it or not today I did not feel that I needed it but on the days that I don't wash my hair putting these clips into dry hair how do you hold them in there? Do you spray them with a little bit of hairspray? Do you... I need some advice there. Because um, I keep having to adjust them because they just don't sit right. Um, like they do with, you know, when you have wet hair, I don't know, they just go in better and they stay better. But, I don't know. It's driving me nuts. All right, today, my eye look is in the Wet n Wild palette and this was the Coming In Latte palette. Today I used this for my base, um, this for my transition, and then I used this one for my eyeshadow today. That is such a pretty color. It's just like a gilded brownish, brown with gold in it. So pretty. And on my lips today, I'm using the CoverGirl O oh Sugar Number no. 8 Sprinkle Soup Soup Con. I think it's maybe just Sprinkle. Um, this is what it looks like. Very pretty. I should show it to that side. And this is a really pretty, um, very sheer.
pink and I build it up so it's at least got you know color but it is otherwise very sheer and glossy looking it's very slippery so um, I'm not a huge fan of slippery lipsticks I like them a little bit more matte this is I'm not saying that I won't ever wear these because I will because I really do like the colors and they're very pretty they're just like a wash of color they um, since this is the last day I'm using the old sugar I thought I'd tell you about them <clears throat> um, they don't stay on your lips very long because they're so slippery I think they don't and I have a habit of mashing my lips together where other people try not to do that and they say you shouldn't do that I, it's just such a habit with me it's hard to break so um, I do that and you know to make sure that my you know it's on my lips <laughs> and um, I don't know that I'd buy any more of these I have three of them three I think three three of them yeah and I wouldn't buy any more of these but they are a good lipstick for those of you that really like the glossy look and the the um, almost like you have a gloss over your lipstick and just a little wash of color this is it's such a pretty pink I really do like this color so oh sugar by cover girl I do recommend it it's just that if you like more matte this most definitely isn't for you all right I will see you tomorrow and my last day of my making it work this week I got a package this morning that I will be um, filming on Sunday and there's more packages at the post office I I saw so I'm really excited um, to show you everything and to swatch everything and it should be fun talk to you later Bye -bye. and happy Saturday and welcome to my last day of the week of my making it work so let's just get right into it because um, this one's always a little bit longer so the first thing I used this week was my Too Faced Brow Quickie in, it's in taupe, Universal Taupe. Um, it's very light, which is fine with me, but uh, to tell you the honest truth, some of my cheap $2 ones work better than this one do. They, this one is nice, but, and if it was darker, maybe I could see more of a difference, but I really have to work at it to even get it this color. Um, yeah, uh, I wish I would have gotten a darker color in this because I have to work so hard to get it to even look the way it does now. So anyway, um, that is that. Then I used my Ulta Eye Primer. You guys know that I absolutely love that. Then I used the Lash Blast, <clears throat> Lash Blast Volume Mascara by CoverGirl. I love this, and I will repurchase this. I just, I really, really like this mascara. This is the wand. I feel like I have hair floating. This is the wand. Just a really kind of fat wand or spoolie on it. And I really like it a lot. Um, blush. Physician's Formula in... This is an okay blush. It's not my favorite blush. It isn't bad. I mean, you know, at least it kind of shows up. And it's a very pretty color. But, like I said, you know, it's very fair on my my skin. And I want something that's going to show a little bit. Okay. Now, the quite the opposite is true for their nude wear in natural... Um, Just says 2R. Um, in their highlighter. Holy cow, is this an awesome highlighter. I mean, you can see it. If you put it on normally, you could see it in outer space. It is beautiful. And it's just, I mean, I don't know if you can tell it, but I can really see it in my mirror. 
I don't know if you can really see it, but this is an awesome. I recommend this highlighter. It's their nude, natural nude. And this is the package that it looks like. Okay, lipsticks this week. Um, all of them I really like. They were all CoverGirl. The one I used today was Katie Cat Matte, of course, in Kitty Purry. I always saved the, my favorite to last. And I love this color. This is just so pretty. I really do. Um, I really like these. These, um, these are the three that I have. I have a uh, Couture, Sphinx, and Kitty Purdy. Kitty Purry. And I absolutely love these lipsticks. And then I have six, eight, and nine in their O Sugar. And these are very good if you want sheer wash of lipstick. If you if you want, um, and they and slip glossy slide. looking, which I like them, and I will continue to use them. But by far the one uh, my favorite is the the Katy Perry. Okay, for my palettes today I used my Wet n Wild. I used this again for my base. This is my transition, and I used a mixture of this. Let's see this gold and this dark brown. Uh, this in my crate or in my corner and this on the outer lid. And I tell you what, I had a heck of a time this morning with this. I mean this here is very pigmented, very pigmented. This here is like it's dried up. Um, I expected more for Wet n Wild shadows because Wet n Wild shadows are very nice. Now, to talk just a little bit, I don't have a lot of time. A little bit about the Elf and the Wet n Wild. Okay. Now, they're kind of backwards, but you can see that there are a lot of similar shadows in this. I mean, the base color this color and this color are basically the same. My transition, which is this one and this one, are basically the same. Um, the Wet n Wild may be just a touch darker. Just a touch. This one and this one are basically the same. Sorry, this one and this one. Um, this one and this one, this one and this one. I keep wanting to put that finger up there. Um, the really dark shades, this one over here, and then I can't, I can't get my fingers to work that way. The one clear on the end there are the same. Um, this one and this one. So, so they're, they're um, basically... I don't know which one. You know, some shadows in one were better than the other. And some shadows in the other were better than, you know. They were both decent for the price for the price. And I will continue to use these because I like them. But it was you have to work at both of these. You have to really work to get the color that you want. The bases on both the mattes were better than the shimmers on both of these. The um the base and the transition colors that I used were awesome. Except for I wish the transition would have been like a shade darker on both. But um they still they went on nicely and the base went on nicely but when I went to use the shimmer on the on my lids it was a bit tougher I had to work at it so anyway that is my look for I me. hope you enjoyed your week I will be doing some very 
exciting videos tomorrow that will be up towards the middle of the week. Um, I'm very excited about them. I will talk to you then. Bye.